A high-ranking official working on developing Washington's international trade policy, Francisco Sanchez visited Hong Kong as well as Beijing in October 2011. Mr. Sanchez underscored the importance of a deal the Hong Kong Trade Development Council forged with the U.S. about one year ago. Washington's Peace Through Commerce Medal was given to HKTDC Executive Director Fred Lam to recognize the work of the Pacific Bridge Initiative. Uh, the PBI, as it's called, and as we know it, is a novel framework designed to promote President Obama's National Export Initiative, which is an initiative that the President announced about a year and a half ago during his State of the Union, and it calls for doubling American exports by the end of 2014. Now, the PBI has been a win-win collaboration. It has helped us exceed our goals in this area for the NEI, and it's supported by Hong Kong's efforts to be the preeminent commercial platform for this dynamic part of the world. So in recognition of his work, it is a privilege to present to Fred Lam the Peace Through Commerce Medal. Uh, this honor uh, is uh, about much more than my personal efforts, uh, even uh, more than the collective effort of the HKDDC. Uh, it really, I believe, belongs uh, to the business community of Hong Kong. Um, the honor um, actually uh, should actually belong to every single uh, trader in Hong Kong as they are the true believers and practitioners of free trade. Since November 2010, the PBI has involved hundreds of American companies in HKTDC trade fairs. It has also seen the number of U.S. companies involved in incoming missions and conferences rise nearly 65 percent and a more than 190 percent year-in-year rise in their participation in business matching sessions. Uh, we would like to see Hong Kong develop into the business hub of Asia. Uh, to do that, obviously, we need uh, more overseas companies, especially companies from the more established economies like the U.S., to see the value and the role that Hong Kong can play in the future development of Asia. Under Secretary Sanchez offered more details about PBI and his mission in a one-on-one -on -one interview with the HKTDC. This is a, a, an area of the world that is vital uh, to uh, trade uh, with the United States. Uh, over 50 percent of our trade with the world happens uh, in the uh, Pacific Rim. And so we have to focus on this area uh, of the world. Um, and Fred and your organization have played a very, very important role. They've been great partners. Tell us a little bit about your trip to Asia this time. What are some of the key goals? What are you going after? Uh, we have companies that are, are doing uh, research. We have others that are in the architectural and engineering services that build facilities for, for biotech mm -hmm. companies. So it runs the gamut. And we want these companies to take full advantage of the rapid growth that we see in China. Hong Kong is an important, increasingly an important place in the biotech field. You have over 300 companies now uh, that are involved in biotech right here in Hong Kong. You have an amazing legal system uh, and intellectual property rights protection is very important to our biotech companies. So coming to Hong Kong uh, is a good way for us to look at how we might access the Chinese market. In a few minutes, you're going to be able to get a chance to look around Hong Kong from yes. the air. Kind I'm of looking nice forward to that. <laughs> when uh, you have a chance to see Hong Kong from that perspective, what sort of things go through your mind, and especially about what sort of opportunities are out there for U.S. company? Well, I suspect that I'll uh, harken back to my first visit here 29 years ago when I was a young uh, student, and I took off uh, between undergraduate and graduate school and traveled around the world. And during that trip, I spent time in Hong Kong. And I have vivid memories of a city that was then extremely vibrant. Uh, fast forward 29 years, and I still see that vibrancy. Um, I see a more modern city. Uh, I see a city that uh, has grown on the foundation that it had uh, as a financial center. Um, and I see it as a, um, as, a, as a place that has 
really built um, uh, opportunities for companies to access China. So you have so many advantages, a, um, a mindset for business, uh, infrastructure, legal system. Uh, I, I think you really offer a lot to American businesses. We talked a bit about biotechnology. That's been your focus on this trip. But yes. what else is out there? What other things should U.S. companies be looking at in this region? Well, there's a, there are a whole bunch of areas where I think opportunities lie. Certainly high technology uh, generally. Um, aerospace uh, has been uh, an opportunity. Uh, wine. Uh, we, uh, we're very pleased to see the, uh, the increase in in wine, um, I think with all of the activities uh, that's growing, that, that are going on here in Hong Kong as well as in the southern province of China, I think infrastructure uh, opportunities abound. Uh, so there, there are really a whole range uh, of areas where um, American companies can, can benefit from uh, coming here and taking a look. Environmental technology? Environmental uh, products and services. We have an, up, an upcoming uh, show uh, which will highlight a lot of American uh, goods and services in, in the environmental sector. Uh, this is an area of increasing importance to every country in the world, and the U.S. has a lot to offer in this area. What do you think is on the horizon for the Pacific Bridge Initiative and U.S.-Hong Kong cooperation to reach more markets in this area? Well, we have formed a good foundation with the Pacific Bridge Initiative, I think, now is to build on that, so to bring more missions. Uh, to look for, uh, to do reverse trade missions, to look for ways to highlight this part of the world to American businesses so they really understand the opportunities that are here. Um, we have a great foundation of cooperation with your organization. Uh, we're going to build on that, and my hope is that we'll see a lot of more American companies coming here to do business.